All right, viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Comic Zone. This is episode three. I didn't catch where we are. Satellite shows some suspicious structures here. Like these termite mounds? Oh, suspicion confirmed. I'm beating you up. Whoa, he's spitting crap at me. Hard game, viewers. So many of the tags never work. Did I grab him? What the heck was that? How am I doing that? Check out these reefs. Is that what you kids are calling them these days? Or do I have to? Whoa! That did not look like it should move. You know what? Let's. I have nothing to feed him. I tried, and the little alien dude wouldn't go in. And I ain't feeding him roadkill. You go to hell, lady. That's right, you give me that dynamite that you had in your mouth. I don't think I should be touching these. Well, it's not like I wanted to. If I had a hit percentage in this game, like what percentage of my attacks connect, it would be in single digits, I think. Well, that worked. Glug glug. World dumbest run. What was that noise? Put that down there. Ooh. Bomb. I did something right, apparently. Sure, just throw in some lava. What the hell is that? That should probably kill me. Let's, uh, reload that. Basically, success in this game, viewers, is dependent upon the items you pick up. So, we're gonna not get the bomb. We're gonna go with the knife this time. Well done, Turner. Kick, kick, kick. Drop a save right there. Later. Like, four seconds later. Those guys, honestly, are probably my favorite enemy. Oh, and the platform doesn't stay raised, huh? Too early. Okay, that didn't work either. So let's just try getting over there. We'll 
just dag nab it. Alright, come here. Saved. Damn it. <sighs> Lovely. Lovely. All right, viewers. <clears throat> Thanks to a um, level select code, also available through the jukebox, we are back. And I have actually made a secondary save state. Not quite what I wanted to do. I was looking for another path so I wouldn't have to go through this room, but I do kind of have to go through this room. Turn that over. I don't know, I'm supposed to go down. I don't know how it intends me to do so. Maybe I need to uh, raise the platform, jump on it, put the explosives on the platform, and then jump off really quick. Also, I don't know why graphics are freaking out. It's done this on a couple of games that I've tried to, to do lately. Alright, so we're going to throw the knife. Jump over. Damn it. Throw the knife. No. Throw the knife. Throw the knife. Throw the knife. Damn it. Throw the knife. I'm confused. Just a moment. Okay. So. I'm just supposed to be able to hold down. Now, I was pretty sure I had tried that. Apparently I missed a uh, power-up fist somewhere too, because the guide I saw, the one and only guide I saw, wanted me to use that. We're gonna save. Not sure what's hurting me here. Those. Well, that's kind of crap. What? Did you just lay a landmine? Now that's an interesting glitch. Can't stand in that corner and punch, or I just fall. And the bottom of the screen is glitching out as well. Really? Do not. Care for this guy. Yeah. 
Gotta kill him, though. How are you doing that? I mean, I'm aware this is a comic book, but even then... We're alien renegades. You just killed yourself, buddy. He did that. Hello. Thank you. What's with the, the fins on your boots, buddy? It's not really a great look here. Grave shipyard. Now, those question marks mixed in with the mines down there would give you a random power-up. High levels of new K radiation. So it's very serious. I'll just punch this. Eventually it'll open. It's kind of like, um, what do you call it, Half-Life? They say pow when they explode. We needed a new home, but our meteor attack failed. Um, you humans survived, but now your time's up. What am I picking up? Oh. I can't move. the enemies block in this stupid game. And you're supposed to be able to combo to get points. I don't know how you're supposed to be able to do that when you can't hit them more than one time. It's like some sort of factory. Down it is. Whoa. A magnet crank. Looks like a mine without fuses. Just trying to drop it on him. There we go. Well, not exactly what I wanted. This is what happens. Here I am. Punching away. He blocks. I figured it would almost pick him up, but I don't see that I'm going to get to test that theory. All right, I'll save. Oh no! Look, it's the uh, what's his name? It's the Mortis. Let's pick that up. What? Loop. Alyssa, it's Mortis's weapons factory. 
We gotta blow this place. Yeah, that's a good idea. So this doesn't hurt me, but punching them does. Keep one in between the two of us, and then they'll hurt themselves. Yes? There's a nuke in there somewhere. Keep going. <coughs> I'm flying in. I'll be there shortly. Should have saved that. Look, Shade Man. Quit it. Should have saved that. Put him under it. Yeah, well. Ah. Oh my god. Look, just die. Come on. Oh, come on. I hate how much the enemies block. There's supposed to be, like, a variety of attacks I can do too, but... I'm not... Is like supposed to be like a shoulder tackle? But I can't seem to get that to work. And the shoulder tackle is supposedly unblockable. Ah. Oh, you're just gonna fire him at me, huh? There. Sounds like they say blimey when they die. What's that humming sound? Could it be this bat creature? Creep creep, says the bat creature. Come over here. I need you to open this door. No, apparently we're not. The game's just a tad glitchy. <laughs> well, that'll work. I got the punch glove thing. Like, what's my part in this? Oof, I made it just in time. Stay put, I gotta disfuse this thing. But it's not even finished. Not so quick, you brat. The game's not over yet. <laughs> The cyborg cowboy with a mustache. This nuke will blow your empire to shreds, and you're going with it. I don't know who's supposed to be talking. Alright, we're gonna save. What's the matter now, Sketch? Kitten chicken. It's a cyborg cowboy who smokes a pipe. So good you really are. Now I'm gonna pause, because I gotta check this out, because supposedly you can screw this up and get a bad ending. So, I'm going to go for the good ending. One second. Okay, let's see if I can figure this out. She's drowning. God. Gotta flip the switch. Go away. Come over here. 
That's where I gotta get him. Can I kill these guys? Jump down, please. I know, I'm working on it. Why did you let go of the switch? Why won't you throw the switch? Switch. Get him back down here. Where is it? Get him back over here. Come on. Down here. Come on. Time is running out because you're being a pain in the ass. Come on, get down of here. Damn it. Gotta do that five times. seems to count as one, though. We'll find out. Come on. Get out of here. Such a hard time with that stupid switch. Killed him, but I can't find the switch. Oh, there it is. Well, that'll work. I'll take that. Sketch succeeded. And Alyssa, his heroine, decided to join him in our world. See? It's like Cool World. For Sketch, Alyssa, and our kill, it was a new beginning. And what a beginning it was. Man on a ledge! Comic Zone became a commercial smash. Sketch issues, sketches issue sold out on the first day, becoming the best-selling comic book ever. This is Cyan. Join the army, soon to become the chief of security for the United States. Roadkill was donated 100 pounds of mozzarella, and when he wasn't sleeping under a pile of Sketch's dirty socks, he spent most of his time exploring the city's new sewer system. And they all lived happily together until... Concept, design, and art by this guy. That is a horrible ending. That is an incredibly short game. With a very annoying combat system. It's a shame. The graphics are good. The music is great. The story is retarded. Which is fine. It's an action game. It doesn't need good story. This game could have benefited from two things. Number one, a better combat system. Do not let the enemies block as much as they do. And 
don't let me lose health with everything I hit. Number two, um, give me lives <coughs> or more opportunity to refill my health. If you're going to have me like doing stuff over pits that are instant death, give me more than one life. Because how annoying is that? To go through three levels of that just really annoying, really difficult com combat to get knocked into a pit and die. That's a little much. Special thanks to Toyota. Oh, see what I did there? Terry Tang. John Dugan. Tim Gettimer. Maroa. The house for the best lamb in town. Comic Zone, 1995. All rights reserved. Patent pending. Can you patent pending a video game? I suppose you could. Superhero meter. Oh yeah. See, I think it would have been cool to like have turned into that guy somewhere throughout the game. Like Power Rangers y, you know what I mean? Anyway, um if you do not save Alyssa, you don't get the hundred percent. You get like ninety-five percent or something like that. So this has been Comic Zone. That was much, much shorter than I thought it was gonna be. Especially with all those songs in the soundtrack. I thought there were gonna be more levels. Anyway, now you've seen it, beginning to end. Um one second, I will impart some knowledge upon you. Alright, so, viewers, for making it through this Let's Play with me, I will show you the two codes that you can input in this game. By coming to Options and Jukebox. This all requires you to press the C button on the uh, controller. To get invincibility, highlight 3, push C, 12, 17, 2, 2, 10, 2, 7, 7, and 11. Pressing C after each one of those. That gives you invincibility. Now for your level select, you want 14, 15, 18, 5, 13, 1, 3, 18, 15, and 6. Now, you select the level you want, so we'll say level 4. You hit C again, and then you exit by pushing the Start button. Hit Start. Game's going to go through regular low opening, but it will start you on basically stage 4, which in this case is episode 2. And now you know. That's going to do it, viewers. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I will see you guys next time. By the way, look for this game to appear on a future episode of Review Review.